Mysterious Objects at the Edge of the Electromagnetic Spectrum Presented by Science at NASA The human eye is crucial to astronomy. Without the ability to see, the luminous universe of stars, planets, and galaxies would be closed to us, unknown forever. Nevertheless, astronomers can't shake their fascination with things they cannot see. Outside the realm of human vision is an entire electromagnetic spectrum of wonders. Each type of light, from radio waves to gamma rays, reveals something unique about the universe. Some wavelengths are best for studying black holes. Others reveal newborn stars and planets, while others illuminate the earliest years of cosmic history. NASA has many telescopes working the wavelengths up and down the electromagnetic spectrum. One of them, the Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope orbiting Earth, has just crossed a new electromagnetic frontier. Fermi is picking up crazy energetic photons, says Dave Thompson, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and it's detecting so many of them, we've been able to produce the first all-sky map of the very high-energy universe. This is what the sky looks like near the very edge of the electromagnetic spectrum, between 10 billion and 100 billion electron volts. The light we see with human eyes consists of photons with energies in the range 2 to 3 electron volts. The gamma rays Fermi detects are billions of times more energetic, from 20 million to more than 300 billion electron volts. These gamma ray photons are so energetic, they cannot be guided by the mirrors and lenses found in ordinary telescopes. Instead, Fermi uses a sensor that is more like a Geiger counter than a telescope. If we could wear Fermi's gamma ray glasses, we'd witness powerful bullets of energy, individual gamma rays, from cosmic phenomena such as supermassive black holes and hypernova explosions. The sky would be a frenzy of activity. Before Fermi was launched in June 2008, there were only four known celestial sources of photons in this energy range. In three years, Fermi has found almost 500 more, says Thompson. What lies within this new realm? Mystery for one thing, says Thompson. About a third of the new sources can't be clearly linked to any of the known types of objects that produce gamma rays. We have no idea what they are. The rest have one thing in common, prodigious energy. Among them are supermassive black holes called blazars, the seething remnants of supernova explosions, and rapidly rotating neutron stars called pulsars. And some of the gamma rays seem to come from the Fermi bubbles, giant structures emanating from the Milky Way's center and spanning some 20,000 light-years above and below the galactic plane. Exactly how these bubbles formed is another mystery. Now that the first sky map is complete, Fermi is working on another, more sensitive and detailed survey. In the next few years, Fermi should reveal something new about all these phenomena, what makes them tick, and why they generate such unearthly levels of energy, says David Panek, a leader in this work from the Max Planck Institute in Germany. For now, though, there are more unknowns than knowns about Fermi's world. Says Thompson, it's pretty exciting. For more science news from the edge, visit science.nasa.gov.